Hey y'all, I'm back. It's the weekend, we made it. And we're gonna get back to work in the water closet, working on the sheetrock today, as well as the water filtration stuff. All that stuff you've been seeing, we're gonna do that. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a look at what Nana did while I was gone. It's kind of weird, the power just flashed, kind of weird. Anyway, so we're gonna take a look and see what Nana did you guys have seen but i haven't seen yet and check it out here we go check that out nana made some uh, little crafty projects doing some uh, bleach spray on shirts kind of cool here's some that are a little more subtle a little more subtle those are cool and then she also worked on a little spray tie-dye thing which is kind of cool uh, let me see. Can you guys see that? How well can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. She worked on this kind of spray tie-dye thing. That's kind of cool with the stencil. Need some refining, but not bad for a first attempt, I don't think. And then you guys saw... Actually, let me just do it this way. Because i got to bring this stuff in. Then you guys saw Nana paint up my... Whoa. Paint up my plywood backer boards with marine paint to go in the water closet. They're not bad, but I mean, they don't need to be perfect. It's just in a utility room, right? So it's just a backboard to keep the plywood from getting wet if there's ever a water leak, which hopefully there never will be. Okay, so that's what Nana's been up to since I've been gone. And now that I'm back, we're gonna get started over here with the closet. I'm gonna start with uh, kind of doing some tape and mud skimming stuff in, with the sheetrock but I got to pull out my water filter stuff and then we'll deal with all this mess all this water mess you guys keep watching I gotta get back to work okay y'all check it out well, you see me do some work in there, and I'm letting that top area dry. Then I'll go back in there and clean the top. Once I get all the top done, I'll move down the wall some more. You guys saw that, so right now I'm going to let that dry for a while, and then I'll go back over there and work it again. But right now I'm going to start working on this filter setup, my whole filter water closet setup. And I'm going to work on the electronic descaler. Put that... that part kind of together 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 all right y'all keep watching i am back to work Okay, y'all, this is almost dry in here. Got a few spots that are still a little wet. This bottom corner down here is still a little wet because it's pretty thick there. And obviously this stuff up here is gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to do several coats here to get this smoothed out. So while that stuff is still drying, I'm gonna go in here and put some, cut out the little piece of sheetrock that goes under the sink in here. So this little piece that goes right here, we're gonna. I'm going to do this plumbing right here and then cut this little piece of sheetrock and put that in. I'm not real worried about it because it's going to be under the cabinets. So it doesn't really need to be taped and mudded or anything like that. But we're going to go ahead and get that in. So it's just another piece that's done. All right. Y'all keep watching. I'll get back to work. Okay, y'all. I think that's it for today. You saw I... Did a little bit of plumbing in there. I gotta go get some more PVC glue. Ran out of PVC glue. Well, actually it dried up. I don't know how that happens when it's in a closed container, but whatever. It was dry. So I gotta get some more PVC glue to finish that up in there. And you saw me work in a closet. And that's about ready to paint. Well, at least the top half is about ready to paint. Uh, with the exception of the little fur down, I gotta get the bottom side of that fur down better. And then, but the back wall and I, I really want to get the back wall and the ceiling and kind of the sides those sides not necessarily this this side here the door side 
but I want to get those ready so I can at least get those painted so I can get my backer boards and kind of get my plumbing hooked up. That's kind of where I'm at on that. But I think that's it for tonight. Got to get some parts, like I said, and then get back at it tomorrow. That's all I can say. See you guys tomorrow. Well, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. Another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. Let's get back to work. You know what we're working on. Still working on this water room. Hopefully by the end of the end of today, we'll be ready to paint this bad boy and start mounting some plumbing, the plywood and the plumbing filter, filtration system, and all that stuff. All right, y'all keep watching. I gotta get back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go. I think that's it for today. We got a little bit accomplished, not as much as I wanted, but when you're dealing with sheetrock, tape, and mud, that takes a while because you gotta put some on, let it dry, put some on, let it dry, smooth it, yada, yada, yada. So it takes a while, but in between, you saw me working on the water filter stuff. And I got back over there, I got the, that's where the incoming water's coming. That's basically laid out. I got the electronic descaler in line and I have a little spigot down at the bottom. And then I've been working right here on this UV light filtration. And I'm, you know, I've been thinking through all that stuff. So been working on that. And then you also saw me patch that in the water line where the kitchen sink is. And not the water line, but the sheetrock over the drains and the incoming water for the kitchen sink. And I got a little bit of mudding around there. Not real concerned about it. It's going to be underneath the cabinet. I don't really even know why I did it, but I did it nonetheless. When the tape and mud guys come to texture and everything, they will probably do it once more, finish it up, and then they'll be ready with the exception of this big piece. This big piece and then the little baseboard piece because, as I've told you guys before, right behind here, you see that uh, right there, I can't really tell if you can see it, but right there is the refrigerator ice maker line. And then in the bottom of this wall, there's actually a T, an Upanor T, PEX T, and it is feeding this side as well as behind this fridge right here. So I want to test that because I don't want to close this wall in, right? I've told you guys all this before. Don't want to close this wall in until I get that test. So that piece of sheetrock is going to have to wait. And that's why I'm working in the water distribution room to get that squared away. All right, y'all. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you enjoyed them, give us a thumbs up. If not, we well, can give us a thumbs down. We understand not every video is for every viewer. And we're okay with that. Either way, leave us some comments. Good comments, bad comments, and different comments. Nothing foul. It's a family channel. We'll have to throw those things out if they're foul. Check us out on our social media, at Living Cooper, on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And lastly, and probably most importantly, is please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. Check out our other videos. We've got a lot more property blog videos. we got how-to videos, product review videos. Check those out. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.